A good mount makes all of the difference. This is advice you're always going to hear, but when it comes to astrophotography, this is especially true. With so many mounts out there to choose from, not all of them are made equal. Today, I'm about to tell you about a great one though, the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro. My name's Rosine, and you're watching Astrophotography. From the moment you open the box, you can tell that the EQ6R Pro is gonna be a good thing. It's built very sturdy, the weight of the mount helps push those legs down, keeps it very secure. The rear leg design is of particular interest. As you can see, on this mount, it kind of leans back on its third leg rather than leaning forward on them, like most other mounts. I asked Skywatcher why they chose this design, but I never got an answer. However, I guess it's to do with the counterweight shaft. You see, having the third leg at the back means that a fully extended and loaded counterweight bar at low altitudes can make a full swing without striking the front leg. I had this thing down to three degrees latitude and it cleared the front two legs quite nicely, quite comfortably. So if you live near the equator, you're in luck. However, this is a double-edged sword. You see, having the leg at the back like that means that the latitude adjustment board at the rear fouls on the rear leg. It also catches the polar scope cap, but they normally do. However, therein lies another interesting and clever design choice. The rear latitude adjustment bolt is spring loaded, so you can go on, make your adjustment. When you hit something, you can just back off, adjust, reload, go again. This is a really simple and effective design choice to get around this issue, and I really like it. Onto the mount itself now. This thing is solid. It is heavy, it is sturdy, and for imaging purposes, it can carry 20 kilograms or 44 pounds. That is plenty of capacity for most use cases. And on top of a generous payload capacity, this thing is really quiet when it's slewing. Have a listen to this. I do really like the large side panel with all the I.O. and the logo on it. I think putting the power switch up on its own like that was a good choice. You're not going to accidentally hit it. You've got your inputs for your ST4, your handset, a snap control cable, as well as USB control. One thing I particularly love though is the power port. It uses an aviation two pin DC connector that has a screw collar. This means that when you plug your mount in, it is incredibly secure. That pin is not going anywhere and you don't have to worry about it jostling around or coming loose. My heq 5 for example, which uses a standard connector, has come loose and needs replacing. The one on the EQ6R Pro feels like it's gonna last a lifetime. Speaking about power, the one thing I really wanna draw your attention to is this mount demands a good power supply. When I first got it, it comes with this cigarette lighter style plug and I plugged it into a jump pack I had. I know, I know, I know what you're gonna say. And I had issues slewing. It would just stop slewing and make a dodgy noise. And it was linked to the power supply. So you don't need to go get an uninterruptible power supply, just get a good power supply. I settled on the Lynx Astro supply and I've had no issues with it since then. Even during winter, it behaved fine. No more need for dovetail adapters either because the EQ6R Pro features a dual type Vixen Lossmandy puck. And when you do this puck up, it actually squeezes it together to hold the dovetails and doesn't rely on you bolting the screws against it. This means no more scratches, no more dents, no more mars in your dovetails. The EQ6R Pro also comes with the latest and greatest polar scope, which features multiple concentric rings to allow for the planet's precession. That means that if you are aligning today or next year or however many years into the future, you can always polar align your mount. Although of course there are adapters available for the popular polar scopes like the iPolar or the Polemaster. But Ruz, you scallywag, you may be asking. You're making it sound like this thing is perfect with no flaws. And no, it has flaws. The clutches on it can feel a bit loose. Now, not loose in the way that it affects tracking or guiding. When I use a pole master, I usually get about half a second error using my guiding and it's super solid in those aspects. No. What I mean is if you carry this thing out fully set up like I do, when your body touches the RA axis, sometimes you can feel it slip and move, even when the clutches are done up. That's only if you're carrying out fully set up like I do. Like I said, you're pushing against it with your body. If you carry out this assembled using that fantastic carry handle, which is a great design choice, holding the front of the mount, I've not noticed any issues with it. Go straight on the tripod, easy. 
One really irritating point about this mount I found though are the azimuth adjustment bolts. They are big with a big coarse thread on them. And why is that a bad thing? So when I'm using my pole master and you're trying to do that final fine adjustment, you're making it, you'll undo one, tighten the other, undo one, tighten the other, and there's no movement. Then suddenly you'll do it one more time and it goes straight over and you've completely overshot. This just makes your polar alignment routine even more mundane and even longer than it should be. But because it's tapped with such a coarse thread, I, I can't see any way around this. You kind of just learn to live with it, anticipate it and just make do. Time to surmise. If you're looking to upgrade from your entry level mount, or you want a mount that can hold a medium refractor or a large Newtonian, for example, or just want a robust mount from a reputable brand, the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro has you covered in these areas. I think this mount punches way above its price tag. At the time of this video, it costs £1,200, a considerable chunk of change, but for what you get, I think it's excellent value for money. The two flaws I mentioned earlier about the RA axis and the azimuth adjustment bolts, I'm sure you'll agree, are relatively minor. You can learn to live with them, they're not mount breaking, they don't affect performance, they're just annoying. And as I mentioned, this thing is sturdy. If you put some anti-vibration pads underneath them feet, you may as well tap dance around this thing. There have been nights when I'm taking nightscape photography or filming videos around the mount, and the guiding performance hasn't changed. It doesn't know I'm there. The EQ6R Pro plus anti-vibration pads on concrete, completely overpowered. Just get some of them pads. So yeah, you can kind of call me a fan. But if you've got a chunk of change burning a hole in your back pocket and you are looking for a mount, then definitely consider the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro. It is sturdy, very generous payload capacity, excellent performance, great value for money. Just consider the weight of it as well. It's not the heaviest in the world, but if you carry it fully set out, it's a bit unwieldy. Factor that in. Thanks very much for watching everybody. If you hated this video, go and hit that thumbs down. If you loved it, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment. Has this video helped you? Or do you have an EQ6R Pro yourself? And finally, consider subscribing for more videos like this. There'll be links to everything featured in the description below. And with that, it's time to say clear skies, everybody. Have a great day and keep looking up, keep them cameras clicking. See you later.